Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be doing round three of our Who's a Better Vocalist series, which I guess that's a new thing now. Um, today we're going to be blasting Philadelphia's Unrest Grindcore. So fucking good. You have Chris from Woe. You have Brooks Wilson and Steve Jansen from fucking Trench Rot. And Crip Sermon, just an amazing super group of grinding fucking nozzle worship. Love this release right here on Dark Descent and Unspeakable Axe Records. Pick this up, it's only like 15 bucks and so fucking good, especially if you're a fan of Grindcore. And that's kind of what we're going to be going into today. We're gonna have Lee Doran error Napalm Death versus Barney Greenway error Napalm Death, but no full length albums, so no from enslavement, no fucking EPs, nothing. No harmony corruption. We are basing this off of, in my opinion, the best Lee Doran Napalm Death material. And also, to be fair, and because it's recorded at the same place, we also have some Barney Greenway sessions on Grime Madness at the BBC, the Earache Peel sessions. So we have this 1987 and 1988 broadcast, and then we have the Barney Greenway 1990 broadcast. So... We'll be diving into that and, you know, seeing what comes out on top. Lee Doran or Benediction's replacement for Lee. Barney Greenway, who still is doing vocals for Napalm Death and killing it. So this is going to be pretty tough, actually, because both have a very distinct vocal style when it comes to their take on grindcore. So, it should be pretty interesting, but let's start things off with Lee Doran. So, we're gonna throw on the A side here with The Kill, Prison Without Walls, Dead, Deceiver, and maybe Lucid Fairy Tale. So, we'll do that first, and then we'll throw on the 1990 side and see how Barney fares. This is music for young lovers. Step aside, Kylie Minogue. Turn up the TV. Plug in your pacemaker. Don't get out of breath. Ladies and gentlemen, Napalm Death. <laughs> So we are not going to include Nick Bullen in this. Just so you guys know. This is Lee Doran versus Barney Greenway. Here's Lee's outing. That's Grindcore. Seriously, what the fuck? Very, very influential as well. Just listen to Insect Warfare. All 
All right, one more. You know what? Deceiver. Dead's just so good. I love that song, but Lee Doran's vocals on here are very remnant of Japanese hardcore, and he sounds incredible the way Brian just meant to sound. Alright, so that was Lee Doran, who pretty much, in my opinion, kind of, you know, reinvented that style of vocals, like, and made it his own, and then so many bands just started taking inspiration from Napalm Death, and there you go, the modern grindcore vocal delivery was born, like, Nick Bowen pretty much did it first, but Lee perfected it. And then when Lee left, he went on to form Cathedral, who are fucking amazing. But it's time for Barney Greenway. Let's do this. Alright, and Barney comes into the picture when the band was working on a death metal record in Harmony Corruption, but let's give him a listen on this live 1990 session. Unchallenged hate. Already a lot more death metal sounding. Less grindy. Celtic Frost influence, R.I.P. Martin. Now I'm a fan of Barney's vocals, so this is gonna be tough. But for Napalm Death, Going from grind to death metal is a big jump, but I think he sounds great on these tracks. Like seriously, Unchallenged Hate sounds amazing. And he's a great front man. Except for sometimes he can't shut up in between songs. Pretty good representation of Barney's vocal delivery though. Alright. So... That was Unchallenged Hate with Barney Greenway. And this is both coming from Grind Madness at the BBC, the Earache Peel Sessions. But the first track I played was from 1987. And the Barney Greenway was 1999. So, let's see who won, shall we? So, well, who did you guys think was a better vocalist? Lee Doran and his screechy Japanese hardcore influenced vocal delivery, which still stands today when it comes to most grindcore bands' deliveries, especially bands like Insect Warfare. And hell, even Unrest, which we're listening to right now, has that Napalm Death inspiration. Even though they're named after a Disrupt album, still. But 
Dave Palm Death. Barney Greenway versus Lee Doran. I know this has been talked about for a very long time, and uh, me personally, I love Barney Greenway live. I love I love him as a frontman. I like his caveman vocals and his like Ian Curtis rhino charge when he's live, when he gets all hyped up and like wants to thrash and stuff. I never got to see Napalm Death of Lee Doran. I never got to see Cathedral either, but it happens. But I'm going to have to go with Lee Doran. I mean, holy shit. What a killer vocalist when it comes to grindcore. And I understand that he was real into, like, Doom and stuff as well. And Napalm Death was a little short stay for him. But he put out some of their best material from, like... The Peel Sessions on here from the 80s, the Mentally Murdered EP, and From Enslavement to Obliteration, like, oh my god, just an amazing, amazing legacy of brutality and grindcore history, like, he's just one of those vocalists that left his mark and then moved on to, you know, heavier, slower things, but... Barney still kills it today. That's why this was really, really tough, but I'm going to have to go with Lee Doran. As much as I love Barney, Lee just, to me, has that grindcore vocal sound that has been emulated time and time and time again, where Barney came on while they were working on their first death metal record. And it shows with his vocal delivery, but it's just not as vicious and as like, you know, gnarly sounding as Lee Doran on those Napalm Death releases. But, I love this giant Oreo color, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Lee Doran as a better vocalist. When it comes to frontmen, I don't know. I've seen footage of Lee Doran acting like a maniac live, but Barney gives you that social commentary and you know, pretty much explains what the songs mean, but sometimes it's like, <sighs> okay, I get it, let, let's fucking go. And it is what it is, but Barney, I give him mad respect for still killing it, almost in 2018 now, so that's awesome, but this round victory goes to Lee Doran, who now is in With The Dead, who just put out an awesome album too. Um, but yeah. That was uh, my Napalm Death Vocalist Challenge. Leave comments below. Let me know who you think your favorite Napalm Death Vocalist is. And you guys can add, you know, Nick Bullen in there or whoever. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, as always. Comments below. Yes! And we've been blasting Unrest Grindcore on Dark Descent and Unspeakable Axe Records. It's some awesome fucking grindcore. That's all I can say. Killer, killer stuff. As the decibel review read, fuck yeah. But thanks for watching. Hail. Awesome. A bit too angry for me, a bit too aggressive, a bit too doom laden, a bit too subversive. So let's lighten the mood here a little. Madness on the BBC. Oh. Was that it? Yep, yeah, basically. How can I come songs that are so short? So I'm going to give this one to Lee Doran. I mean, not only was he a better Napalm Death vocalist than Barney, Barney's a great front man, but I just love Lee's vocals, and they're just so influential in grindcore, but also his Doom stuff. Like, from Cathedral to With the Dead. Yeah, he's just fucking brilliant vocally. I love his vocals. And I love his record label, Rise Above.